How's it going? This is Dwayne Diego Malor from Pinnacle Sport Fishing here in Southern California. Today we're going to talk about rigging for squid fishing at Southern California's Channel Islands. The Channel Islands are a really special place. A lot of fish congregate there, anything from rockfish, calico bass, halibut, white sea bass, yellowtail, they can all be found there. And the candy bait to fish for those species is going to definitely be squid. Good old fashioned classic dropper loop. Going to do a spider hitch or a dropper loop knot. I like to do it longer, gives your bait more action. To a six to 10 ounce sinker. So you're presenting your bait with the sinker down, bait wafting out like so. Again, good for the drift, good for the anchor, good for the rod holder. Typically I'll have one to two, even three of these just in the rod holders while I'm fishing a lead head or while I'm fishing a sliding egg sinker rig. That way I have more lines in the water, more opportunities for bites. And uh, the dropper loop's a multi-functional, multi-species type rig. You can do this for white sea bass, halibut, yellowtail, rock cod, calico bass, you name it, it'll eat the dropper loop. All depends on how deep you're gonna fish it and what you're, you're targeting. If you're gonna fish rock cod, fish heavier sinker, deeper water, you're gonna fish sea bass, a little lighter sinker, or if the current's heavy, you up your weight. So it's a really universal rig, works for everything. Very next thing, we're talking double dropper loop. This method works really good for rock cod. Very good, various bottom species, you know, your reds, your chuckles, your ling cod, any of those rockfish that you find around the Channel Islands. And pretty basic rig. I like to go straight braid to a barrel swivel, barrel swivel to my fluoro, and then two hooks, uh, two of those Aki octopus offset hooks. Get yourself a squid. And what you want to do is you want to double hook the squid on, squid on there. You don't need to worry about pulling it over the knot of the high of the I have the hook there. You just double hook it on, that way it gives it some uh, holding power. Those rockfish like to short bite a lot, some of the small ones, and big ones will sometimes wolf it, but anyhow, that keeps your bait on the hook. And you got hook bait number two, followed by your sinker. So pretty basic rig here. Two squids, it presents itself like that, in a vertical matter, and a lot of times you will get to it once. How's that? 